Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens all over the universe. Welcome to another global transmission from Fun Squad Command Central Headquarters, located in the beautiful and serene Fort Lyon, Colorado. Thank you for joining me on this Wednesday, March 7th, 2018. The time is 8.16 a.m. And we're listening to a little pink houses for you and me. Pink houses. That's the idea for us little pink houses. Anyway, anywho, um, sunrise this morning was at 6.14 a.m. and the sunset is at 5.52. And again, thank you for joining me. Um, so I may have some some good news. My, I was in contact with my, um, my, um, correct, I guess she's my great aunt. Yeah, great aunt, great aunt and uncle, Jim and Betty Smith. Hi, Jim and Betty Smith in Sway City, Iowa. Thank you for allowing me to come to, into your lives. Um, uh, real briefly, um, I didn't do a um, video log yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, because um, I just got real busy and sidetracked and I was tired, and, and then my roommate's not cooperating, and nobody wants to cooperate with me, so um, I just didn't do it. And so um, it was really cold this morning, so I didn't want to do a... a Sunrise log because it was just really cold and I didn't feel like biting with the cold all the damn time. One minute it's 75 degrees out here, and then the next minute, you know, it's 22. So that's Colorado for us, right? Anyway, um, um, let's see. Uh, yesterday, what did I do? So we went to the community meeting. No, no, not yesterday. Monday, went to the community meeting at um, 10 o'clock. We discussed, um, you know, uh, Jim. The director and Lynn and Phil were not there, um, so one of the case managers did it, and he talked about elephants and labels. And so what he said was that um, that uh, elephants, what they do to train them is they tie a big chain around their you know their leg and they tie them to a tree, and then eventually the elephant figures out that it can't go anywhere. So every time they move to a new place, they tie to a tree, tries to leave, can't leave. So, you know, they finally get it to, you know, they tie it to a willow tree somewhere, and, but the elephant sees the chain, and so it thinks that it can't, you know, can't leave. So, uh, that's what it does. So, it just can't leave, and then um, it, uh, it gets trained that way. So, even on the willow tree. So, we sort of, you know, make our own labels where, um, uh, you know, well, we say we can't do this, or I'm not any really good at this, I suck at this, so I'm not going to do it. You can't do it, I'm not going to try. And so we sort of, you know, shape our own sort of little, um, our own little chains. And so, because we all have all these little labels for us, ourselves. And so we need to break out of that sort of train of thought, is what basically he was saying. And I couldn't agree more. We need to break out of those, those chains. So um, we'll see if I can break out of my chains or not. <laughs> So um, that's what we talked about in the community meeting. Um, then I went to town. Um, I went to Los Animas, bought some tobacco, um, some coffee, you know, some other stuff that I'd forgotten the other day when I went shopping. So I, I did get some coffee, so it was really good too. I am enjoying it this morning. Um, it's cold this morning. My roommate has left. Um, thank goodness. And no, he's a really nice guy, and uh, we get along great. He's a really super guy. Uh, we stay up late talking about you know political discussions, and conspiracy theories, and politics, and all kinds of stuff. Really interesting stuff. So, um, <clears throat> speaking of politics, I'm going to throw something out here. You know, I was watching the Oscars the other day, and it struck me as odd that all of these over paid, spoiled, elitist prima donnas that want to pat themselves on the back and give themselves an award are protected by what? Armed guards everywhere. But we, when we have a shooting in our school, well, we need gun control. We need more gun laws that we're already not enforcing, but we need more laws. That's going to protect us. But when it's the rich, spoiled, black, elitist, Illuminati, globalist pigs... Well, then they get armed guards. 
Isn't that neat? Isn't that a great double standard that they have for all of us? We can't protect our kids with armed guards. We need more laws to protect our kids. But they get armed guards. I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. So, and second political discussion for the day is I'm just starting to get really mad about this. These Illuminati globalist pigs. Google, Facebook, YouTube. Yeah, I'm talking to you people running these transnational corporations that are censoring. Mike Adams, you kicked the health ranger off of YouTube. He didn't even have any strikes. You just kicked him off because you don't like what he has to say. You've kicked Alex Jones off, and we're getting tired of it. And guess what? I'm getting ready to dump Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, hoogie boogie woogie. All of you are going bye-bye. There's a new one called D. Video. There's Gab. There's other things besides Facebook and Twitter. And we need to start voting with our time, our money, and our cooperation and get rid of these people that are censoring us. If you don't tell the official narrative, then you get banned. But hashtag kill Republicans is okay. And so I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. You know, people will be, oh, I'm going to unfriend you because they don't want to have a debate with me because they, they don't have the facts on their side. And they don't know how to debate anyway because most of them are mindless zombies taking Xanax and watching NFL all the damn time. So they can't debate with you, so they can't win with the facts because we are winning the information war. And that's why they're censoring this. Because, you know, they say, oh, well, these guys are conspiracy theorists. They're, they're, they're talking about but then they ban us. So if we're so nuts, why don't you just let our videos stay online so people can make up their own minds? But they don't want to do that because they know they're losing the information war. So that's what I'm going to say about that. You guys are getting ready to go bye-bye. We're, we're getting ready to to um, switch up to different networks, ones that won't censor us for doing nothing wrong. The other day, they banned Alex Jones for doing what? Nothing. They made up five phony EEOC complaints. And then the next day, they came out and they said, oh, we're sorry. Um, that was done by malicious employees. This is like the third or fourth time it's happened. Then they banned Mike Adams, the health ranger, on YouTube. He didn't have any strikes at all. And now all of a sudden he's just off because they don't like what he has to say. They're suing him all the time, suing Alex Jones all the time and all this stuff and all this nonsense for nothing because they're trying to shut us down financially. But it's not going to work. It's only backfiring on you. CNN's ratings are the lowest ever. CNN actually pays the airports now to play CNN in the airports. They're, CNN is paying the airports that, so we'll be forced this garbage. So quit watching all that stuff. Quit doing Facebook. Quit doing YouTube. Quit doing all of that shit. And let's get back to reality. And I'm getting ready to uh, go uh, uh, delete my Facebook next week. I'm going to move everything from YouTube to somewhere else. I think it's going to be DDOT video. I'll let you guys know. Okay. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot else to tell you about. Um, today's Wednesday. I got the community meeting at 10 o'clock. I'm going to go into town and do a fax. i got to send a fax to uh, the um, national uh, student loan, uh, default student loan people who are going to take it out of de uh, default for me. So I'm going to do that today. Um, and other than that, I don't have many plans. I have to go to the NA. I'm going to go to the NA meeting here tonight here at Fort Lyon at 6.30. And other than that, I can't think of too much to tell you. Um, I just got to... Um, Oh, and I ordered oh, and I ordered a Fun Squad Thug device. I ordered a big bad bold Bluetooth speaker, like the one I used to have. The battery lasts for like three days, and it rocks. And it's gonna be the loudest one out here because everybody got these little ones, you know, and they think they're all cool. But I'm getting ready to blast them out just like I did in Denver because I'm Fun Squad Commander, and I can do that. And it was only $60 because I got it factory rebuilt. It's $120. Well, it was $120 at Walmart, but they don't sell them at Walmart anymore, so it made me mad. So I went online and found a factory refurbished one for $60, which is like, you know, half the price of what it would normally would be, and free shipping. So that should be here like tomorrow. So 
thank you all for um, listening to my um, little political tirade today. Um, but uh, it's real, you know, the censorship is getting out of control. And we really need a call to action. And so our call for the action today is to call the White House switchboard. You can Google it. It's really easy. It's like 1-800-222-something. I should have got it for you. But call the call the congressional switchboard and tell your leaders that you want class action lawsuits. I mean, not a class. Um, equal protection. I don't know what they call it. I don't know what they call it. I want. I don't know what I want. But I want you to call somebody who cares. Like your senator and tell them, retire. we want, you know, these guys. Antitrust. That's what I'm looking for. We want antitrust laws to be enforced. These people are discriminating against us because they don't like what we have to say. We're not threatening anybody. We're not calling for, you know, armed revolt. We're just expressing our opinion and then they're banning us. So we're going to ban them starting next with Facebook. Um, that's going bye-bye. I might delete it today because I'm so damn mad at them. I just might go delete it right now. So I love you all. Thank you for listening to me. And let's get rid of all these globalist Illuminati pigs. Transnational corporations trying to run our lives and c control what we think and what we hear and the ideas and the freedoms of speech that we enjoy in this country. Because if they come after my free speech, you might agree with that for now. But they'll be after yours next when you have some sort of dissent dissenting remarks to say. So let's think about that. It's very important. Let's call the White House switchboard. Let's call the Congressional switchboard. Get in contact with our leaders and at least express our opinion and let it be known what we want. Okay? This is getting long. It's 11 minutes, 56 seconds into it. I love you all. Thank you for joining me this day. I'll have this posted soon. Thanks again. Have a great day, everyone. God bless you. Bye-bye.